This is Boodoo, and today we're going to go over the character bio tab. Currently, I'm in the faction syndicate. My rank within the faction is adept at 3,000. I have 4,430 faction tokens, which are used to purchase PvP gear from the vendor. You can change your faction on the bottom left. It shows your character, your server name. You can change your title and the company and rank you're currently in. On the right hand side, it will also show you any active bonuses. On the attributes tab, we have the different attributes, strength, dexterity, intelligence, focus, and constitution. And here is where it determines how strong you are uh, with different weapons. You can allocate them however you want in respect at any time using different currencies depending on how often you respect. If you hover over the question marks, it will tell you what this stat is primary for and secondary for. It will show for every single weapon so you don't have to worry about that. On the right hand side you can see the weapon damage. As you put points in it'll show you how much it will go up or how much it'll go down. Your mana regen and your max health. And you can view leveling rewards there as well. Over on the weapon mastery we're going to go to sword and board here. You can see that there are six different skills with multiple different passives. You also have the three skill slots. You can see Q, R, and F. On the bottom left you can see the damage scales with the rapier sta scale with dexterity and intel. The hatchet here scales with strength and dexterity. We're going to go over to the spear. The damage scales with dexterity and strength. You can also see on the very bottom you can respec at any time using 75 azoth. We're looking at great, uh, great axe two-hander scales with strength. The Warhammer two-hander also scales with strength. And as you level up, you get multiple pass uh, multiple points to put into your passives or your skill points. We're gonna look here at the musket, which is dexterity and intellect. And when you do put the points into a skill, you have to go over and click where the Q, R, and F squares are to put them in specific slots. You can move them around at any time. You can respec at any time. The life staff here scales off of focus. I believe that's the only one that has the main trait of focus you you want. And then intellect for the ice gauntlet. These are all the weapons that are currently in the game and more will come out soon. Moving on to the trade skills. We have many trade skills as you can see from refining, gathering, and crafting. We have the weapon smith here. You can see all the different weapons created or creatable. You also see armoring here. You can see the crafting station logos on the bottom left. We have engineering which is going to be to make tools so that you can craft fa or gather faster and it's really good to make gold early on at the start. Jewel crafting will also be really good at the start because a lot of people don't know about receiving their first ring uh, from the quest line. Arcana we have here to make some potions. Cooking is very important for when you fight you can get some recovery, you can get a buff. You got furnishing which will help with your housing. Uh, you can also get some extra storage for your house which will help overall. And then smelting is what you'll need to craft your armors, your weapons. It's used in a lot of different aspects. You got leather working as well, which would be used in almost every aspect. Weaving, they're all pretty much interact. They all pretty much interact with each other. Stone cutting is very important early on as well because it's the only way to work with gems and it's very useful for making greens early on. You have your logging, you have your mining, you have your herbing, and within the mining you can see here there's going to be a track at so you can track these resources on your uh, compass at the moment you get to that level so early on you want to get your mining up so that you can track iron ore because iron ore will be a very good source of making money you can see fishing here I haven't done too much fishing I find it boring myself but it is very useful. You can see when you can actually find the fishing hotspots. Harvesting here, you can see tracked at. That will be the level you can track that resource at. And you can see it on your compass. And then tracking and skinning. This one I find to be pretty easy. Um, typically throughout the game, you're going to kill mobs and you just skin them. And it typically keeps you up to level. You might have to go out and do a little bit more. Moving on to the achievements, you can see that there are multiple types of achievements from this 
completed achievements, player v environment, player v player, quests, missions, progression, general, um, and destinations. So you can go through all of these, you can pause the video if you'd like uh, just to see the different tabs. I didn't go through every single achievement, but this is definitely something that I'm thinking about doing. If you like this content, please follow here on YouTube, check me out on twitch.tv slash voodoo and Twitter at voodoo bra, that's B-R-U-H. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.